world is known. I look up to the sky, and in the dark I found I hope that I won't fly. And I sing along, I sing along, then I sing along. Okay, so I thought I would like obviously update the camera. So I said I was going to do a fertility diary of the injections. I'm currently on day seven whilst recording this. Um, this is the first time I've picked up the camera to even speak to the camera to talk. Um, so I'm just going to reflect on what actually this week's been like. So I started my first injection on 27th of March 2017 and um, I don't understand how it came about. So on the morning of the 27th of March, which was actually Johnny's birthday, the morning of that I rang the gyne gyne gynecologist's office. Because I needed to ask if I needed to stay on meth for him. Because obviously the gynecologist I saw before wasn't even very good. And I didn't understand much. Um, she said, yeah, stay on meth for him till I receive a positive pregnancy test. Um, and asked what day I would be taking the injections. Now I use an app. I'll put screenshots of the app and everything in here. <laughs> but i use this app it's called ovia and it's a free app on android i'm assuming you could probably get it on iphone um but i use this app to track when my periods are due um when i should be taking a test and when i should have been ovulating so on Monday it says that I should have started my period on Monday or Tuesday and sometimes it differs. As you all know, I'm on medication for my periods to force them. Um, but then because I said that she says that she was going to book us in anyways for a scan on Friday the 31st of March. But get back to the day one. Um, after I got off the phone and stuff, obviously I went to the toilet and I had started my period. Um, so I went back into the bedroom because me and Johnny were in here. Um, and I told him, obviously I had came, I've got a choice. I can take it on day one of my period or I can... Where are you going? Hi, mate. I can take it on day one of my period <laughs> Or day two and let's explain what is this dog doing she's letting us use that as a footrest Mets, what are you doing what are you doing stinker anyways so I obviously started my period then Johnny decided that we would start the injection on day one because just get over and done with get used to it and a Monday is a really good day to start them and the dog has kind of started playing toy, so you're going to hear a lot of noise. So anyways, um, I decided, to, well Johnny decided to do it on day one. So we started doing the injection at half twelve, which has got to be the same, well I got told it had to be the same time every day. Anyways, I done the injection, well Johnny done the injection at half twelve. Um... It wasn't painful. I used the alcohol wipe to wipe the surface and he injected the needle. I didn't want to record it because obviously I don't really think any of you would have wanted to see me get injected with a needle. Um, but I will try. I've got one last needle to take tomorrow. I'll get into that. But um, I will try and record one if you want to see like where it goes and everything. Um, about half one on Monday... I started getting a bit of a headache Um, I didn't know why or anything and then about three o'clock I got really dizzy and started feeling a bit crap anyways that's all that happened Um, I was a bit tired but you can assume to be tired 
so day two came around, which was Tuesday the 28th. Yeah, and this dog. Really? What are you doing? What are you doing, Mel? This is what I live with every day. Um, day two, I took the injection at half twelve. It really hurt. Um, you had to do it on the opposite side of my stomach. Um, we took that at obviously half twelve. Um, and then I was still dizzy and I still had a headache and I felt quite sick and tired, but I got on with it as normal. Um, day three came back around and he done the injection again and um, this time it wasn't painful as much as day two so I wasn't I'm just assuming that in different areas of your body then it's gonna hurt Um, I felt a bit faint on Wednesday and I've went a bit dozy like you don't understand, like, I went into the bathroom to go and put a bath on and I started brushing my teeth and forgot to put a bath on. Um, there's loads of things, like, on the Monday I was even cooking Johnny dinner for his birthday and I forgot halfway through that I was cooking, so he had to take over. Um, Thursday came around and I had a meeting. So the meeting was at one o'clock. So me and Johnny decided that we'd get the bus down half an hour earlier. Yes, I don't drive, I use public transport. And um, we decided to get the bus half an hour earlier to go be able to go to my mum's pub and do the injection there. Um, which resulted in me having to sit on a sink and try and get injected. That was the most painful injection I've ever had to do in my life. Um it bled and everything. It hasn't bled the other days, but it bled this time. Um, I had Weight Watchers on Thursday night, which obviously I think most of you know. And I had bloated and felt really, really bad. I was tired. I had no energy. I felt quite sickly. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing? I felt quite sickly and yeah, I just didn't feel well at all. But I got on with it and I had actually lost weight, which was surprisingly. So all together, forty two and a half pound I've lost, which is three stone and a half a pound. Um, was it then Friday? I had a hospital appointment and. It worked out my hospital appointment. I would have had to take my injection by myself. Johnny wasn't really able to come to this appointment because of other things. I'm shaking. Oh my god, I'm actually shaking. I'm sorry if the camera's a bit wobbly. Um, Johnny wasn't able to come, so I asked my mum to come. My mum came, and the gynaecologist was running late because there was an emergency on the maternity ward. Ow! So... Oh my god. Mitty. I don't know if she's up or down. Um, so she was running a bit late, but it ended up me getting seen earlier. But this was meant to be for a scan, and... Yeah, my hair. This was meant to be for a scan, uh, to check the follicles. So I went into my appointment and my gynaecologist says, oh, what day of the injections are you on? I went, oh, day five. Yeah, day five. Um, she says, have you got any side effects? I says, yeah, horrendous side effects. Which then she says, I might just be either really sensitive to medication or that I could ovulate earlier. But anyway, she says that you can't scan us because there's not even going to be anything to say on the scan. The secretary wrongly made the appointment and should have made it for three days after that one. So she ended up giving us another two days of injections. Um, so instead of taking six days of it, I take eight days of injections. I'm on the injections until Monday, the two second. Monday, the 3rd of April. Oh my god, how fast is this month? Um, this year, sorry. 
um, on the injections till the 3rd of April. I take my last injection on dinner time the 3rd of April. Um, and on Tuesday the 4th, I've got to go in to the hospital and actually get a scan. Um, that's where I'm at at the minute. I haven't had to scan, obviously, because I'm recording this on the 2nd of April. Um, but yeah. So I will update you on the scan results and stuff in this video. Um, I think I'm just gonna put it all in one instead of just uploading a video a week because it's gonna get quite annoying. But yeah, so my current feelings at this minute, I'm on day seven and I've never felt so unwell in my life. I've been so emotional, so tired. And just generally just not myself. Like normally I'm up on a morning tidying up the house, doing this, doing that, walking the dog and lately I have been trying to just get out of tidying. Um poor Mitzi hasn't really been out too much. And yeah. But I know it's all gonna be worth it in the end, I suppose. But um I thought I would just quickly record a video to update you on everything from day one I'll put a list of side effects that I have had and yeah so so I'm sorry for dog overload today oh you baby but right um I think you should move no no lie down I'm sorry for dog overload I'm sorry for um obviously not recording from day one i'm sorry that i'm talking to a dog oh man get out my face Oot. um i'm sorry about that i will <laughs> i will update you each month like each what are you doing i will update you every time i have an update at the moment, as I say, I'm just waiting on scans now and blood exams and see what comes of it. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go. I'll update you with a scan on <coughs> Tuesday. And, yeah. Also, I haven't really recorded a video for this week. I need to, like, try and get energy to record a video. Oh, well. Bye for now.